Hey guys, I'm Nick Kidbelba here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a um, text field display text what's in there into a UI label by tapping a button. It's fairly simple, so let's go ahead and start the next code. Go to New Exo Project, New Business Application, choose, and we're going to name this text field text. Save, um, I think I have save, oh, there's no save in my desktop. So, um, I'm going to stretch out the window, and then we're mostly just going to need the editor there. Um, we're going to need the source panel, whatever, side panel. We're going to the header file, then do two outlets in one action. An outlet of your text field, and name that text field. And another outlet of your label. And that label. So I'm going to then add an action of set or go whatever you like. Copy that. Go to the dot m. After having played implementation, do the method. You know the drill, don't you? Of course you do. Yeah. So the code is label dot text says equal space um text field text I think it was called field I don't know but it was it's called text field text simple as that really simple so let's just build that go to nib files double click in the, the view controller dot zip and then whoopsie we're gonna drag in uh a UI label. I'm just gonna put it there, at the top. I line it to the center. And delete everything that's in the text. And add a button. I'm gonna just put it here and type in go. Oopsie, doesn't remind me. So then what we're gonna do. So we're going to add a text field as usual. That's where the whole point is. So, while well, the button is selected, the go button, um, touch up inside to the file zone on the inspector, um, connect everything up, you know, from the outlet to the text field, label outlet to label, save, quit, build and go. Okay, let's see if that will work. I think it will, because I tried it before. Hello, YouTube. Go. And you can see there we go. Apparently it doesn't select all, so I'll just do that. Um, I think it's DK developer. There we go. So that's really simple, uh, only just one line of code, basically so simple. Um, uh, simple SDK does it this way, but for me, I'm not sure if it really works, but I like that way better because it's easier. And yeah, So thank you, hope you like this tutorial. Thank you, uh, subscribe, rate, comment. Follow me on Twitter, um, I'm SDK Programmer. Link in the description, uh, yeah.